there are 100 billion fixed stars in galactic space. There are also three billion nebulae in macrocosm, and each one is as big as galactic space. Old stars explode and scatter as gas, and new stars are formed from the gas. What secrets are hidden in these countless stars? A star is in trouble. astronomical observatories catch waves. Irregular waves that might have been sent from outer space. Gentlemen, the waves have stopped. But we don't know yet if there are messages from outer space. Any questions? Dr. Shia, the same electric waves were picked up in England. Were they the same impulses, do you think, in your opinion? Ah, yes. Those electric waves, in my opinion, are much different than the ones we are now getting. They came from beyond our galaxy. These impulses are much nearer. Could these be humans, do you suppose, now living on this planet? It's too early to really be certain. Will you start this? The moon lacks sufficient moisture and air. Therefore, it is impossible to sustain any life form on the moon as you know it. On Mars, right there, there are no rivers at all. It's arid. And now, Venus, it has a temperature of several hundred degrees centigrade. We... Come now to Jupiter. Frozen ammonia covers it entirely, not breathable to us. Saturn, the same, also no air. The conclusion, no advanced vertebrates exist there. If that's so, what is the meaning of the waves, would you say? Well, let's see. Let's assume that they came to us from Proxima Centauri, the star closest to Earth. As you know, we have today the spaceship we call the Apollo. And if we were to go to Centuri, do you know how long it would take us? Uh, uh, just like uh, One million years. One million years. Yes. One million years. Yes. So you see what it means? Yes. Even though we received an invitation from spacemen, unless, unless they pay us a visit, I'm afraid we'll never be able to get together. <laughs> Sure there are. Or otherwise, those waves from space wouldn't have come. Tom, Tom, come here quick. I see something funny. Yeah? Yeah? Look. What is it? Can you tell? Hmm. I know what it is. It's a spaceship. Yeah? It's true. That's key. Now me. Let me look. I want to see. You're too young. I've got to watch. Come on, Auntie. You all let me look. All right. 
I'm sure it's a spaceship. Yeah. I can't see anything. It came down in the woods across the river. Akio, let's go find it. Okay, let's go. Wait, take me too. <laughs> where we play. Mm-hmm. Akio! Akio! Oh, it's too late, I guess. Mother will scold us again. Yeah, it's too late. Well, well, I thought you'd all be studying. I suppose that you've been stargazing. Yes, but honestly, we saw a spaceship. But you must have imagined it. It isn't good for children to stay up late. Your mother wouldn't approve either. You must admit it, Tom. But you see, the reason we watch the stars every night is that... Of course I know the reason. You want to discover new stars, isn't that it? Akio wants to name a star after him, and you, Tom, want a star named after you. That's not the only reason. See what it says? Signals coming from out of the stars constantly. So if we're receiving signals systematically, it could mean there are space creatures. We're trying to discover the star that's sending the signal. So that's the reason we all stay up. It could be they are quite intelligent. Just think, no more wars on their planet. And no more traffic accidents. Just some more of your imagination. There is no such star. Now behave or I'll take away your telescope. Gee, grown-ups spoil a dream. Mm. All right, no more foolishness. Go to bed now. All right. At dawn? Okay. It's all right, young lady. My name is Kondo. But see here, two of you kids shouldn't ride on one bike. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. You're in a hurry? This time of day? Ah, uh -huh. it means you kids are up to mischief. I understand. No, we aren't. We're out here looking for a spaceship. Huh. You are? Mm -hmm. Ah, you're joking. No, we saw the ship land here. It's true. It came down last night. I see, I see, I see. Yes, but if you're naughty, you know what I'm going to do with you two mischief makers? I'm going to shave your heads. He? Yes, it's true. Here, don't forget this. <sighs> Go ahead, but don't ride there. All right. Walk.
little hair is all it is. Oh, I want it. Let's catch it. Come on, you idiot. He's much too quick. You can't. All right, let's go. Yeah. Thank you. 
such a loud voice. And where were you, young lady? It's awful. Has Akio teased you again? No, you don't understand. They went away on a spaceship. Nonsense. Tomoko, you are just as silly as they are. Oh, it is true. Because we found your ship all right. And then they decided to go in it and it lit up. It's plain to see. Your brother Akio is up to something. Mother, tell me. Don't you believe in spaceships or in space creatures at all? No, I don't. But the papers said they do. Lots of people they said believe in flying saucers. Made up stories. But they were right. I said that's all. Now I want you to be good and study, or you won't get into a good school.
what I've seen, I'll bet we're on a highly civilized star. Moving instantly. That's great. Yes. What do you say we investigate some more? Yeah, let's. It's wonderful. This must be the control center. Hmm. Hello? Where are we now? Can't you tell us your identity? You see? I explain and understand the language. waited for you. Then, you do understand our Earth language? Of course. This ultra-speaking machine translates telepathically all languages. Oh, boy. Science has advanced here much more than on Earth. Mm-hmm. Miss, can you tell me which star this is? And can you tell us the distance to the Earth? The star we are on, we call Terra. And the star is exactly like the Earth and has the same atmosphere. Our star is situated exactly on the other side of the sun from your Earth. I understand. Terra and the Earth are twin planets, then. Why didn't we know it was there? You see, it's simple. The Earth and Terra are on a line. But with the sun all staying between us, you can't see them. Akio, it's a great discovery. Mm. The Earth and Venus, Jupiter. Then there's Uranus, Saturn, and then Mercury, Mars, Pluto, and Neptune. That makes nine planets, and Terra is the tenth. You're right. It's Gaius again. Barbella, it's a nuisance. Open the pit. Yes. Young lady, excuse me. Barbarella is your name? Yes, its translation is sweet as a little bird. And my name is Flobella. It means pretty as a flower. Where are the other people here? Akio, see the water again? It's running backwards like before. 
It's against the law of gravity. We control the laws of nature here through our science. Oh. You're quite superior. Because I looked in my telescope every single night. You see, I was searching for a planet like this. I knew somewhere there should be a star, highly intelligent, that had no wars or accidents. It's that monster again. This is our watchdog. He's called Quiro. And we can control his actions. Don't worry. Gaius is running. I don't understand. Why do you have such monsters anyway? You're so advanced and all. You are right. Ours was truly an advanced society. We got to the point where we could control the laws of nature by advanced electronics. But then, a mixed-up computer brought calamity. We found to our regret that it made uncontrollable monsters as well. Gee! We attempted to send out some signals, thinking someone would hear us. There was no answer, though. Oh, gosh. You see, those were the waves reported by our Dr. Shiga. Mm. You see, those who were still alive got on a big spaceship, hoping to find another star. But it fell. Now just the two of us are left alone. Then we heard a call. Someone was on a small ship we sent out to probe the area. And that's how you two were brought here. I see. We've since been confined to the base here. We can't go out. Observe out there. It's getting colder and colder. Completely bound in by glaciers in just five hours. Barbella. What you are looking at now used to be a great city. That was long ago. Phew. It's the home of monsters now. Well then, can't we go back to Earth at once? You'll be welcome there. Thank you. We'll have the flying saucer checked, so we can make the trip before we're blocked in. Aren't we lucky? Mm. Gee, the camera were only here now. Don't worry. I'm sure Gamera's looking for us. Camera? the lounge. It's just above the control center. Now you rest here until we can repair the ship. Thanks. Thanks. The ship only holds two, you know. So what are we going to do with... I realize that. There's time to make adjustments. I'll run tests. I'll check with our scanner to see if the boys are poisonous. If not, the boys will become our rations. You make the final check on the ship. I'm hungry. You think we're really gonna go home? Don't worry. The girl said we'd go home just as soon as the spaceship is repaired. Yeah, and just think how excited they'll get on Earth. How groovy the girls are. There'll be a big hit down there. Right, Akio? Akio, what is it? Hmm, that's strange.
Now, boy, listen. You are to answer all questions that are asked you. Yes. Pay attention. Let your mind imagine what it would most like now. Think. Try to concentrate. Are you thinking? What's the matter? Go on, complete the thought. <laughs> I see, right away. Will you answer my questions until the food is ready? Yes. Are you in pain? No, it feels nice. I see. What? Akio! What is it, Akio? Akio, what's the matter? Akio! Akio, answer me, this Akio! This is a nuisance. All right. Concentrate again. You know Gaius. Are there many monsters on Earth? Not now. Gamera got them all. Gamera? Is that a creature? This creature's looking for you, you said? Think. Remember it. Try. Gamera's the friend of children. The friend of children? Yes. He appears when we need him. He saved a child in Hokkaido once. He knocked Gaios out when Gaios tried to eat the child. Your mother sure makes donuts real great. I'm starving. Just the thought of it. I'm not hungry, just thirsty.
The spaceship. All check. We can leave whenever you're ready. Good. At last. Here. Prepare all the food you see on these cards. Use sleeping powder. Sleeping? Right. And when they're unconscious, under the effects of our powder, we'll gobble their brains raw. Eat their brains? All the knowledge that has been handed down is stored now in their complicated brain cells. And so, if we eat their brains, that knowledge will help us to adapt. We can accomplish it. Just as our bacteria do here, to become higher animals. I understand, yes. Hello, my dear. I just came for my son. Elsa, how nice. Thank you for keeping, Tom. No trouble at all. However, Tom and Akio are still not back. I don't understand it at all. Oh? Where did they go? I wonder if Tomoko knows where they went. Elsa, there's no use asking my daughter anything. I'm sure the boys have told her not to tell. She says they're lost in space. In space? Yes. Tom wants to stay with us longer. He must have run away, knowing you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did. Well, Tom can stay with us a few days more. You You're know. very kind. Thank you. I'm much obliged. I'll see you later. <laughs> as long as you're here, can't you stay for tea? I'd like to, but I can't today. Thank you. I understand. Thank you again for your trouble. Take care. Oh, Auntie. Why, Tomoko. They are lost in space. It's true. Akio and your Tom did go. What really happened? Can you take us there? Mm-hmm. Kondo, Kondo, it's off! Oh. Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! What's the matter? Oh. Well, they left their bikes here. Day there was an announcement by the Aerospace Bureau, and I'm going to repeat exactly what they said. The flying saucer scare was simply an illusion or made up story. No, it's true! It is! I saw it with my own eyes! <sighs> Darling, listen, the Apollo crew said there are no living things out there at all. That our Earth is the only oasis there is. There are no living things elsewhere. There are no living things in space. But the boys really did get on the saucer. And when they did, it took off. No, dear. Don't you think that is the truth? Of course. I know it. You never lie. You're a little lady, a good girl. Yes, don't cry. I'll find that you on top. Hmm? I know you can. Happy now, what? Hmm. I give up, I guess. The observatory. We'll check. Thanks, Todd. Good idea. Con, surely you don't take her seriously. The observatory can't be brought into this now. She said she saw it. She's just a young child. And I'm convinced she just imagined she saw it. The boys are around here somewhere. I just know that they are. Please, you've got to look for them right now. Ah, uh, sure, I will. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes. Because psychologists insist that if you believe everything a child says, it's educationally and psychologically wrong. It's easy to say. Tomoko there. She doesn't you lie. You mustn't listen. Brother! God's going to find you, so don't give up!
Well, isn't this appealing? Yes? You are hungry, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes. Tom, look! Our favorite donut! Sure looks great. I'll say, looks just like the ones Mother makes, doesn't it? Please eat. Eat, won't you? Thanks, Barbella. Just a minute. What is it? Be quiet. Akio? I thought I heard Gamma coming. Huh? Come on. took effect. Go on, hurry. Right. in this area. children's friend. It's here for them, Flavella. It's bad timing. Let's take care of it. Gamera can't beat Guiron. I'll try the missile first. didn't do any good. Let we're on out.
serves him right. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no response. That's strange. Gamera must have put it out of order. It's the only one left. If it's no good, then... You're right. We'll eat their brains after we fix the ship. Let's attend to it. They're attempting to run away. I'll soon stop that. and set it for a round trip. Okay, let's go. Stay where you are. Let me go. We're not good to eat. Get up there. Hands above your head. Back to back. Where could they have gone? Even the police are worried about it. Well, I'll certainly give Tom a good licking, all right. That is when he finally gets back. I'm so very sorry. 
It's not your fault. Oh. I hope they return. Well, they are. That's a little girl. Tomoko, will you tell us about the spaceship you saw? Will you? Wait a second. Just who are you? Are you Akio's mother? Uh, we have recently learned that a spaceship was seen in these parts. A policeman reported the missing boys. So he came here to check on the spaceship theory. Oh, no. Elsa. Is it true, then? Tomoko, tell us your story, all right? Oh, sir. Do they know where the ship went, its destination? We don't know. The ship, so they say, flew very rapidly. We only know about the mysterious waves that have been received. Come, tell us the story. Tomoko, tell us. Did you see anything? What did it look like? Tomoko, tell, tell us. Did you see anything? 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 Can you tell us anything? Tell it. What do we do, Akio? Can we get up? I miss Mama. Have courage, Tom. We have to look for a way to escape. I wish Gamera would come and help us out. He should be right here now. I can't hear. Let's try and call. Gamera. 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 We'll never be able to get to Earth. Please, wait. What is it? It hurts. I can't move. Help me. Robella. You know the rules of our planet. Those who are useless have to go. It's the only solution. Let us out! Let us out! 
Nice jumping there at success. resort, but I'll get him.
What's the matter? What's going on? No, oh, coming now. Yes, he's coming. I'll report it. Oh, I made a mistake. Yes? Yes, this is he. I don't believe it. It's utterly ridiculous. Doctor, I see Gamera on my telescope. What's that? The spaceship's in his mouth. It's hard to realize. But it's true. Yes, it is. The boys were taken from here. Yeah, I hope she's right. Yes, I am so. I hope what you're saying is true. <laughs> Cut it out. It's not right to tease her. You know, Gamera is a friend to children, yes. Yes. Oh, Khan. Huh? Yes, dear. Thank you. <laughs> it's quite all right. Where's the place? Beyond the mountain. Thank you. Excuse me, are you there, mothers? Yes, and I also. I am Dr. Shiga. I'm very surprised. Gamera was seen headed this way, with a spaceship in his mouth. Oh. And our children? Look, there's Gamera! Oh, oh, yes, you're right, it is. should have believed her. There are times, I guess, when our children are telling the truth, aren't there? <laughs> yes, you're right. Akio, Tom! Tomoko! Are you all right? We were worried. We're okay. Ah. <laughs> Your glasses. Oh, it's all right. My glasses keep slipping when I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! Oh, are you all right? I'm glad you're home. Still and all, you made everybody worry over you. You're right. Everybody? Mother? I'm sorry. Oh, I see. Are you showing us your penitence? Is that the idea? They did it on the start. They cut his hair. Space creatures did it? Con? Huh? Listen, Con. There are space people like you, too. <laughs> Akio, Tom. Ah, Dr. Shiga. We discovered a new planet and saw space people. Yes, we thought there'd be a highly civilized and peaceful planet where there were no wars or accidents. But we found out Earth's the best and that we should work to make it better. We shouldn't long for other stars. Just try love instead. Stop wars and no more accidents. I guess that's all I can ask. You're right. Yes, and your explanation does you honor. Thanks. Gamer's pulling in his head. Is he going? 